Hey there, let's take a look at the new All Age comic books for the week of March 22nd, 2023, why don't we? Yes, that's a great idea. Uh, first off, hey, where's your local comic book store? Where's the closest one to you? Uh, do a quick search for Comic Shop Locator Service, comicshoplocator.com. And in there, uh, just type in your zip code. Uh, if you do just a random Google or Bing search or whatever for closest comic book store, you're going to come up with something that is probably not going to be accurate because that store might have closed. Uh, this this site is really, uh, it's up to date, it's very thorough, and it's never led us astray when we travel and need to find comic books. Great, great website. What's new this week? Let's go youngest to oldest as we scan through this. Gargoyles, that's a great one. There we are. Gargoyles. Um, this is a, uh, it's a mini-series from Dynamite. Dynamite and Entertainment. Um, Disney's got a couple books coming out on Dynamite. And Dynamite Entertainment has some great products. And this one is, uh, is going to be no exception. It's going to be basically the monsters, the gargoyles. Eh, I was about to say within Disney, but Disney really doesn't have gargoyles in their, in their IP. This is more just the the fact of gargoyles the monsters those big scary things that sit on top of buildings in europe it's going to be great for those kids in fifth grade and up even fourth grade the only thing with dynamite is that dynamite entertainment has many comic books that are not good for that grade i mean it's like on a high school level and they they advertise some of those books in the all age comic books which is a little odd so if you're interested in gargoyles, maybe check out the ads first. See if any of those ads are in this book. And you're rocking and rolling. That's gargoyles. Uh, for you classic 80s kids, this is great. Mad Balls versus Garbage Pale Kids. It's disgusting. It's horrible. Who's going to like this? Fifth graders and up. Fifth graders will get it and not understand it. Um, eighth graders will get it and understand it and shockingly they'll actually read something this is a mini series again from dynamite entertainment same thing it's gonna have that classic 80s retro disgust appeal but it's gonna have some ads in there that maybe those younger middle school kids or their parents uh, may not be cool with it's mad balls versus garbage pale kids slime again and it's five bucks look at that yippee Gargoyles, we're going to get rid of you. Moon Girl Double Dinosaur. A couple years ago, uh, this was one of the best miniseries, one of the best comics out there uh, that Marvel Comics had for any age because it was just so fun and clever. And this doesn't look like the same Moon Girl or Double Dinosaur. But it's, it's probably the same character. We haven't actually read this series. So I'm going to say... <laughs> Moon Girl Devil Dinosaur, you're coming in at the tail end of this miniseries, but if you're looking for a series that is really, it had a great appeal, can't speak to this new series, hopefully it's okay, I hope so, because it's a great character with a really kind of great I idea, because, you know, young girl, friends with dinosaur, what's not the love about that? That's great. But there's just something about the way this is drawn that makes it seem a little odd relative to the series it used to be. But check it out if it's your jam. Moon Girl Double Dinosaur, out this week. There we are. Now this. Gru. Gods against Gru. Who is this going to be good for? Uh, first off, from Dark Horse Comics. Stan Sakai is in on this. Sergio Aragon. Carrie Straction. And Mark... Evanier, some classic names involved in this. Um, it's going to be great for those mad magazine aficionados. Look at that price, too. It's only $4. Um, kids may not get the humor in it, though. That's going to be the only downside. Those, uh, I'll call them seventh graders and up will, if they've at all seen a mad magazine and they've latched onto the humor that is in that, it's still in there somewhere. We, we picked up Mad Magazine a couple times last year and we're like, what is this nonsense? Where is the humor? I get the I get the faux political outrage, but where's the humor? Just wasn't that funny. Uh, but Gru, Gru's a classic. Plus, it's got that Sergio appeal. Stan Sakai's in on it, so it's worth checking out if you're in seventh grade and want something funny, slightly slightly irreverent, or you just really love Mad Magazine. 
any way that's drawn. I like it. Flash. Uh, if you're done with the show on CW and you're not reading the comic book, shame on you. Because it's, it's uh, is it as good? I don't know. It's good. I like it. Um, and that's when, I guess that's the, the hold out to the whole DC uh, universe thing on, on cinema. I can't really get behind uh, the upcoming film, even though, who was it, Tom Cruise came out and said that it's the best movie ever, best superhero movie. I can't, I mean, who knows? I haven't seen it yet. I'll, I'll see it when the sneak preview happens. I have high hopes for it, but it's hard to get invested in anything when you know that everything's going to be rebooted. Uh, we saw Shazam, and you can check out our, our full review on that one. And we like that because it's it's disposable family entertainment. And it's not meant to add to the mythos of the DCEU, even though it tries. And that's, that's the shortcoming of the film. <sighs> but it's not horrible if you're a family. Back to the comic book here, Flash 795. It's building up to Flash 800, which is going to be one of those mammoth issues. Um... Flash is cool. Check it out. That, that's all. <clears throat> I ramble a little bit, but there you are. Carnage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is for all ages. No, it's not. You know who it's good for? It's good for those kids in 7th grade, 8th grade, ninth grade. Those high school kids and you adults who love Spider-Man, but you like the scary Spider-Man. Thus, Carnage. Uh, Carnage 11. This is the Planet of the Apes variant. <laughs> Just because we love it. So much so. However... Back to he who brought you uh, this one, Amazing Spider-Man. This kicks off a brand new storyline uh, for Peter Parker, Amazing Spider-Man 22. It's great. Um, we weren't a big fan of the last storyline in Amazing Spider-Man, but the, we, the sneak to this is uh, Peter Parker, Mary Jane, they've been thrust to some alien surface or some sort of wacky world where they're, they don't know what's happened. That's where issue 22 picks up. And I love the look of this villain. Love it. Gorgeous. Who is Amazing Spider-Man going to be good for? Uh, this is a great superhero for ages 4th grade and up. Yeah, you 4th graders can dig into it. You 5th graders. And even then you say, yeah, middle school. Yeah, well, if 5th graders like it, I'm not going to like it. That's where you're wrong. Uh, our 7th grader has been reading this series since he was in 4th grade. And... It's still, I mean, it had, there are peaks and valleys because you have different storylines that, that ebb and flow. But as a whole, it is the best comic book out there for those elementary school, middle school, and high school kids. Fabulous. Let's talk something that's underrated, though. And it's this Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Why is it so underrated? I think it's because of the goofy TV show. I, that's got to be it, because this comic book is really good. Um, it's loaded with action. It's got a little more reading than some of the other comic books, but don't let that put you off, but, because it's not like Atlas Shrugged or anything. You're just reading more to get to the story, because it's got a, it's got a more in-depth story. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers 106. It's got enough action to keep you people. <laughs> keep you people. You people. Get off my lawn. Uh, to keep people engaged... But it's also got the action and the really deep story to uh, just to make people care about it. And you really wish more people dug into this comic book. It's still, it still is a, it's a pretty good seller for Boom Studios, especially the great storylines. And we're building up to the summer, which means that they're gearing up for a great story. Speaking of great story, I like this. But a lot of people don't. So here it is. Hulk. It's any second. There we are. <laughs> Hulk. Um, if you're not following the Hulk series in comic books now, basically Bruce Banner's been split from the body of the Hulk, and it's kind of like a, yeah, it's very hard to describe, and kind of weird, but I've always liked the Hulk. So hopefully the story picks up a little bit. I hope so. I like it anyway. Hulk 13. Every Wednesday is, uh, free comic book day. Sorry, every Wednesday is comic book, new comic book day at your local comic book store. That's when all the new inventory comes in. If you're saying to yourself, I don't know what to do, I don't know where it is, just go to your local comic book store, tell the people what you're looking for, what you like, and they're really quite friendly. They're not surly at all. They are nothing like comic book guy in The Simpsons. It's quite fun. 
What are you reading? If you're reading a comic book that we need to know about, please let us know in the comments. Daddy Mojo out.